inside Tesla's new 7 billion semi truck factory. Tesla's semi truck is expected to revolutionize the trucking sector. The trucking industry doesn't yet realize what is coming for them with benefits like low cost of ownership, decreased downtime due to less maintenance needed, convoy mode, and quick acceleration. But first, Tesla needs a production facility, which Musk has set up in its $7 billion gigaplant. Let's take a look inside this billion dollar factory. Elon Musk is a longtime runner in the automobile industry. His recent announcements on Cybertruck, Semi-Truck, and Tesla-powered house have put him in the spotlight. Though there is still time in Cybertruck and Tesla house, information on the Tesla Semi and its location of production have been released. As of 2022, almost six Tesla factories are spread around the world. Of these, the Fermont factory was the first EV manufacturer plant. Giga Nevada produces lithium-ion batteries, and Giga New York is only limited to the production of solar panels. The Giga Shanghai is the fourth and first factory Tesla has constructed outside of the U.S. For nearly one and a half years, this manufacturing facility has been making electric vehicles in China. Giga Texas and Giga Berlin are the remaining facilities that need to be finished. However, for the semi-truck manufacturing site, Tesla selected a production area near Giga Nevada, but first, take a look at the groundbreaking Tesla Semi. At first glance, Tesla appears to be just another 18-wheeler, but inside, Tesla's cutting-edge technology improves its performance in comparison to diesel trucks. The Tesla electric truck now comes with two lithium-ion battery options. Tesla did not mention energy capacity, but according to its website, the semi has a range of either 500 miles (805 kilometers) or 3,000 miles (482 kilometers). It will take the battery between 90 and 120 minutes to fully charge. The process of replacing the battery with a new one takes 20 to 40 minutes. The semi-truck, which can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 20 seconds, with an 80,000-pound load owing to a system of four electric motors with quick traction control, is a prime example of Tesla's obsession with performance. The electric motors are independent, and the battery can provide the electric motors with varying quantities of power depending on the road's condition. Since jackknifing is the greatest problem, Tesla claims that independent electric motors can prevent it. The order page claims that the electric truck has a payback period of two years and saves more than $200,000 in fuel. To make driving safer, Tesla is placing the driver in the middle of the cabin. Costs for Tesla semi-trucks range from $150,000 to $80,000. The new Tesla has a LiDAR sensor and nearly 12 cameras. These combinations show the route and the semi surroundings in three dimensions. If the driver becomes unconscious, there is also an emergency sensor. If the driver does not reply to the emergency signal sent by the truck, it will dial 911. Tesla made sure that its electric semi truck is suitable for all users, including local deliveries, short trips, and regional travel. Using Tesla's new autopilot technology, the semi will be able to travel across North America autonomously. Musk predicted the Class 8 all-electric truck would be ready for deliveries in 2019 when he unveiled the semi-truck. Due to a deadline, Tesla was forced to revise the delivery date to 2020. The delivery of the semi-truck was then again delayed as a result of the COVID-19 event, which prevented the surviving businesses from reaching their goals. However, here we are without a semi-truck, despite rumors that the deliveries would begin later this year. Nevertheless, it will be worthwhile once the vehicle is prepared. Additionally, many reputable logistics firms, such as Pepsi, Walmart, Anheuser-Busch, City Furniture, etc., are still in contact with Tesla for their orders. Many people came to the location of production, and many people saw a glimpse of the Tesla Semi near Giga, Nevada. Tesla plant which makes lithium-ion batteries in cooperation with Panasonic. Although the factory is only 30% complete for semi-truck manufacturing, Tesla did not complete the factory but bought a nearby industrial area. What is your take on what a $7 billion factory will look like? Let's find out! It's difficult to grasp the size of Tesla's Fremont facility when you enter because it has years before it will reach its planned expansion. Its total area is over 1.9 million square feet, 180,000 square meters, which is nearly two and a half times bigger than Apple's brand new spaceship campus in Silicon Valley. 
525 acres comprise the plant, 212 hectares. That is the equivalent of 37 football fields, or to put it another way, if you wanted to count every grass blade on every American football field combined, the size of that field would only be comparable to Tesla's manufacturing floor. The whole building operates on renewable sources of energy. Large windows, lofty ceilings, spotless white floors, and black leather chairs make up the lobby's traditional Tesla design. A Powerwall home battery created at the facility hangs like a work of contemporary art. The Model X and S chassis, as well as the model of a supercharger, are shown in the foyer of Tesla's Gigafactory, which is located east of Reno, Nevada. On its opening, Giga Nevada produced more solar cells in one year than in all of 2014 worldwide production. In 2018, it achieved a milestone of 1 million solar cells produced. Tesla manufactures its cars in this location. The upcoming Model 3 compact car, the Model X SUV, and the Model S sedan. It also manufactures energy products there, including Powerwall home batteries, solar roof tiles, and electric car engine components. And it's about to start producing its $200,000 Tesla semi-trucks. A total of 10,000 Tesla workers visit the factory each day to go to work. In recent years, the company has experienced exponential growth. At the end of 2016, it claimed to have roughly 25,000 people worldwide, but by May 2017, when it increased the production of its Model 3 automobiles, that number had more than doubled to 54,000. In some parts of 2017 and 2018, Tesla was on pace to produce more vehicles in a single week than it did in the entire year of 2016. It produced 28,578 automobiles in just June 2018 alone. Manufacturing Site of the Roadster Tesla's $200,000 Roadster has been available for purchase for a while, but it wasn't until recently that Tesla changed its official website to reflect the location of the car's real manufacturing, which is at the Fremont, California Assembly Factory. How technology advanced Tesla's production line appears in comparison to other manufacturer lines is among the things that stand out most. Two examples of technology employed by Tesla that isn't used frequently enough in other manufacturers' facilities include the usage of rooftop robots for painting and complex assembly lines for seatbelt installation. Musk displayed the first electric semi-trunk in 2018 and declared his interest in advancing transportation to cut down on the use of fossil fuels and combat climate change. As of 2022 at Tesla's Nevada Gigafactory, all four of the semi-mega chargers have been fully deployed. On Twitter, Sawyer Merritt posted images of the finished installation and mentioned that the mega chargers had a 1.5 MW charging capacity. In addition, 210 mega packs are estimated to be worth $291 million. Although PepsiCo was hopeful that it would receive its first shipment of a semi at the start of 2021, its hope has not flattened. Recently, mega chargers were deployed to the nearby PepsiCo area, which indicates that maybe the Tesla semi will be delivered in late 2022. In the most recent aerial footage, taken earlier this month in Giga Nevada, a Tesla semi truck is seen conducting test runs on the specially constructed test track originally built around the company's manufacturing facility. This is where the car manufacturer is evaluating and adjusting the charging technology for the sizable battery pack inside the Tesla Semi. It was confirmed that Tesla would manufacture its electric truck there because the company had posted job openings linked to semi-trucks. Manufacturing equipment engineer and maintenance supervisor were among the positions available. They would apply for positions like process technicians. A new building in Nevada is developing a Tesla semi-production line with a weekly production target of five electric trucks. However, it is a far cry from Musk's goal, who want to establish Tesla as one of the top producers of electric vehicles in the world by producing 100,000 trucks annually. This ends our video for today. What are your thoughts on the new Semi and Tesla Gigafactory? Tell us in the comments. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel to keep updated with more Tesla news.